Good morning, everyone. It is Barcelona day two, um, and today we are doing like a, another um, tour of the city. But right now, we're actually all have to go downstairs, and we're gonna do the antigen test that we have to take before we can go back home. Um, so yeah, that is what I am doing today. Okay, so look at this building now to the right. This one. Look at the floor, look at the material, look at the ironwork. Oh wow. Look at the door. I mean, there's two, there's two doors like this. One here, the other one in the corner of Basilio de Gracia. Look at the picture on the right. Look at the roof now. Look at the roof now. Look at the small chimney that representing Roman, and the big ones are representing Christian. So there's a little just fight on top, Christians against Romans. Look at the building. Look at the main facade here to the right. Amazing balconies, the ironwork all around. Wow. We're gonna turn left and do what we're going to have a look to your left and back, and you will see the whole building. Excellent corner, the colorful one, full of uh, columns. Look at the rooftop, <sighs> you can see the oh. rooftop, colorful, the whole facade, the balcony. This is representing St. George. Legend is called Casa Badillo. It was made by Gaudi. Next uh, house is called Casa Pamelier. Casa Pamelier was made by Fuch y Calafant, another modernist architect. And the next one at the corner on the right, but they are restoring the, the, the boutique at the bottom. This is called the old Modena house made by Domenech y Montaner, another modernist architect. Look at how elegant it is. Look at how beautiful. Wow. So, uh, Casa Badillo is open to the public several times uh, a week. A Casa Badillo is busy. So, the reason why we have two campanillas here is because it was the entrance to the wild fair exit area. Well, for 1929, it was not the first one in Barcelona. The first one was in your 1888. So, here to the left. You can see all the buildings, including the fountain, all the buildings, just because of the World's Fair Exhibition, 1929. The palace on top is the National Palace, National Art Museum of Barcelona. The Romanism Art Museum, the Gothic Art Museum, the Renaissance and Baroque Art Museum, Casa Forum, and uh, it used to be a textile factory made by Pucci Calafat, modernist architect. It was restored by Arata Isopaki, the Japanese architect. And uh, at the opposite side of the street, on the left, you will see the entrance. And the Pueblo Español is like a building's museum. There are a lot of schools that they go to visit. They open in five minutes. So this is the entrance, and you can see it through the door. There is a square there. This is a Castilian square. So this is like a building museum. Is architecture? No, it doesn't. Doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm going all these different places. I'm like, that looks like San Francisco. That looks good. <laughs> wow. So, there's a lot of things that are But in front of the church, there is an amusement park that is the oldest one in, in Spain. It's 121 years old. Well, we can see the city. You can see the city, how big it is. And we will see the city from the other side. Once we... oh. 
Okay, look at so the pier where the cruises are now. This pier was made with the land taken out from the Olympic Stadium. So the land taken from there was, or the sand taken from there, it was used for the construction of this pier. There are five cruises today, but we can both be in them at the same time. We have at once 12 a few years ago. Look at the Mediterranean. So quiet this morning. Never thought I'd see the Mediterranean Sea. Very quiet. Okay. okay, so imagine just before the Olympics, there was nothing here. There was no boulevard, there was no beach. There was a little beach, but it was very dirty. We call this area the Somorosco. Only somebody is sitting. So, um, it used to be plenty of illegal houses, illegal, illegal homes, uh, hunting, and the people were uh -huh. using the sea as a toilet. So before the Olympics, we were not using it. Right, the brick one, it was made by Putsi Karapat, and it was until a few months ago. Thank you.